What's good, YouTube? It's Man from Nash on another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over how Play Bacardi's upcoming set at Summer Smash 2024 might just be his most anticipated set ever, in my opinion. I'm not going to lie. This set is going to be crazy, so let's get into it. So, as many of you guys do know, we're officially one month away from Summer Smash. Summer Smash is in Chicago. It is in June, and Cardi is going to be the headliner. This is crazy because this is going to be essentially, it's not even essentially, this is the first I Am Music era performance ever. The first time we're ever going to see all of these new songs live. This whole just new Cardi era in general is going to be displayed live for the first time, which everybody is so excited to see, right? Because Cardi's last performance was just like what? I would say... Travis SoFi Stadium at in LA for the Utopia tour in LA at the stadium. That was kind of like the the last time he did perform in a huge crowd. And that was, you know, pre all the new songs, pre everything, right? It all kind of sparked up in December, December through January, February. Now we're in May, out in June, we're gonna see this new Cardi era. And I'm saying it's gonna be his most anticipated set ever for a multitude of reasons, right? One, we got all of these new singles that Cardi just dropped, right? It started in December. We got Different Day, 2024, HBA, Backrooms, Evil Jordan, Ketamine. All six new singles are definitely 100% going to be played at Summer Smash, right? And I've been hearing people say, you know, this might not be his ant most anticipated set because, you know, we had Rolling Loud Miami that was leading up to the antagonist tour. So we're like, Cardi's got to preview some music. He's got to do something. Whereas that whole Rolling Loud Miami 2023, was kind of a mid performance not gonna lie it was literally just a whole lot of red with the opium gas station which was cool but the antagonist tour never went down so that was kind of a letdown and then we had the first performance of whole lot of red which was i believe wireless back in like 2021 or rolling loud miami 2021 and both of them were just it was dead you know the whole lot of red wave when people actually seen it go crazy didn't really start with those shows it was kind of more so lola and most people weren't really anticipating lola like that from cardio like that crazy lola is still a top three cardi set but like leading up to the set having so much hype people counting days to see cardi people do not have that much hype as they have right now because we actually have stuff to look forward towards right we have six new singles that have been already dropped from cardi that we can know 100 are going to be played live for the first time just imagine bro cardi pops out all of my friends are dead leave him the cold how many people are at summer smash like 50k screaming all of my friends are dead that's going to be crazy right and then just the intro to hba how scary and how just you know like cinematic that intro is just imagine all that fog and you hear hba start playing open it up like it's going to be crazy bro this is going to be insane hba live is going to be crazy ketamine og is just going to shred out and that leads into another question like is OG even involved in this new era of Cardi? Is OG even needed with this new era? Because could you see 2024 be shredded out on the guitar? Me personally, I don't really see it. I could definitely see OG go crazy on HBA, Ketamine, Backrooms, Evil Jordan. I do think OG is gonna be part of this new era of performances. Like if the antagonist tour were to go down, I do think he would be shredding out on the guitar for sure. But like I'm saying, there's so much questions a lot of people have going into this set. Like, what is these new intros gonna be look like? What song is he gonna start off? We have actual concrete songs that we're gonna hear from Cardi. What features is he gonna play? Is he gonna play Fiend? Is he gonna play Carnival? If he's, if he's gonna play F some, is he gonna play uh, type stuff? Is, 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 is he even gonna play the I Love It song from Camila, which I don't think he's gonna play the song. I think this is more so like a Coachella, Lollapalooza, that type of vibe. I don't really see it be played at Summer Smash or Rolling Loud. I don't think that's the type of fan base that's listening to this song. I do think he's definitely playing Fiend. I do think he's got to play Carnival. I mean, as corny as Carnival is, it's a crazy song. Like, people are like, I hate Carnival right now. But you got to admit, bro, the first time you heard Carnival, you're like, damn. This is a crazy song. You cannot cap. I know the whole TikTok wrist party, that whole thing kind of made it a little awkward to listen to now, but you gotta admit that is a great song. You gotta admit that's a crazy song. Hearing Cardi's verse for the first time on that, I was like, yo, this was crazy. I remember y'all were saying this might be Cardi's greatest verse ever. <laughs> Don't take that back, stand on it. And then obviously we got Type Stuff, which is probably my favorite out of all the features. I've played Type Stuff 
the most. He walked on this thing. This was like his longest feature with Carnival. But me, I've been playing type stuff like crazy. This is gonna be crazy. There's just so many crazy moments from these songs, from all the new singles that I just wanna see how the crowd reacts. I know probably Fiend is probably gonna be the craziest. Fiend or HBA. HBA or Fiend are probably gonna have the crowd going the craziest. Probably Carnival too. I would like to see how OG snaps on Carnival because I do know OG is involved in production credits on Carnival. But like I said, there is just so much to look forward to. We got six, 10, 11 new songs from Cardi, six singles, five features. We got so much stuff to look forward towards from this new Cardi era. What is the stage design gonna look like? And then that leads me into what the hell is Cardi gonna sound like, right? We have the first ever deep voice performance ever going down, right? He debuted this new era, this new voice with songs like, you know, uh, Hood by Air, uh, Second Half of 2024, Evil Jordan, Ketamine, right? Where it's like new Cardi voice. What is that gonna sound like? Is he gonna be on that whole lot of red type timing where he's just like screaming at the top of his lungs like crazy? Or is he gonna go more so into approach like what he did at the Travis SNL where it's it's just kind of like a deep voice and he's actually rapping rapping right here so he's actually rapping so I'm not gonna play it because I already know this video is getting copyrighted if I play it and they're probably gonna block the video so I can't uh, show you all the performance just search up Cardi uh, SNL or Cardi Jimmy Fallon Cardi Travis Fiend SNL You'll see the clip right there. But like I said, what is the performance going to look like? Is he going to do a deep voice like this and he's going to actually rap for three minutes of a whole song? Or is it going to be more so like when he popped out at the Utopia tour and he's just like screaming like crazy? Like it, there's so much to look forward towards with all this new Cardi era. It's really crazy, bro. Six songs, five features, new deep voice. What is the deep voice going to sound like? Is OG going to be on the guitar? Uh, what is the stage design like? Me personally, I love like a like a good stage design. Like me personally, I think why Cardi is so dope at live performances is the stage the stage design similar to like Tyler, Travis, Ye. They put so much into into their stage production to where it's like it's not just Cardi being like yo put on the MP3 and let's just sing right. It's more, it's a whole production right. So I want to see what does the stage design look like. I know Cardi's been cooking up something crazy, bro. His last performance hasn't been since what? Since I would say like Rolling Loud Miami or like one of those summer European festivals, like his actual last real deal set list, right? So like what has Cardi been cooking up? He's been in the lab. We can go to the Opium, Opium account. All uh, right here, he's just been, you know, there's just a lot of stuff to look forward towards. Like, is he even going to be playing uh, new music? Like, he could preview new music, which I don't think new music is needed. Um, there's just so much songs that we already need to see um, that I just, it's crazy. Like, what is the stage design going to look like? Is this going to be part of the stage design? Like, is it going to be a scrapped antagonist stage design? Is the antagonist stage design going to be what we see at Summer Smash? There is so much possibility for what's going down at Summer Smash, it's really crazy, bro. And like, as a Cardi fan, you just gotta be as excited as I am because there is so much to look forward towards. It's gonna be crazy. And with that being said, like, you cannot tell me this is not Cardi's most anticipated set ever, bro. And I know a lot of people were like, bro, it's still gonna be a whole lot of red set list, but bro, y'all don't understand. Six new Cardi singles, five new features, He's gonna do Fiend, he's gonna do Type Stuff, he's gonna do Carnival, and he's most likely gonna do all these. So that's essentially nine new songs, nine times a three minute song. That's like a 30 minute set, rounded up to 30 minutes of just new Cardi music. It's gonna be crazy, bro. Then he just does whole lot red, who cares? But you're seeing all these new Cardi songs, which is gonna be insane, bro. It's gonna be crazy. And then what is this new era gonna look like? What is Cardi's fit gonna be like? There's so much possibilities. As a Cardi fan, like I said, you can only be dumb excited for this upcoming performance less than a month away. I don't know if I'm going to be there yet. Hopefully, I be there. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, if you're at Summer Smash, bro, and I'm there, say what's good to me. If you're at Summer Smash and I'm not there, I will be streaming and I will be doing, you know, the live stream. I will find somebody who's going live at Barricade. But Summer Smash 2024 is going to be insane. Cardi's most anticipated set ever for sure, 1000%. If you're going to be there, bro, have a good time. Hopefully I'm there. I would say like I'm 50-50 right now. I don't know if I'm going. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Somebody may or is it? And I'm out. Thank you guys.